previously on Amori. Games for lucky and unlucky people. I guess I can't. Oh my God, guys, look, it's the greatest character in the entire game. There he is. Browse, what do you have to say? Ah! I lost all my money. Ah! I love you too, Browse. It's good to see you, man. I was afraid something happened to you. And now back to... Waiting for something to happen. Hello. Sticko B. Back with some more Mori. When we last left off, we saved our friends from a menial casino job and being stuck in a contract forever in a, another really random aside. And then we're like, oh, wait, we got to go save our best friend, Basil, who's totally our best friend, right? Right? And I will say, I am very much looking forward to the explanation behind so many of these moments, right? What does this mean, right? Is it is it reflective of like some moment where Basil in real life was like abandoned by his friends or they moved on without him or something? What does it all mean? But it was cute. I, I actually did like this section a lot more than the sweetheart section, honestly. Uh, Mr. Jossam ended up being sort of a bit more likable of a character. Um, I feel like also it didn't overstay its welcome either. Like it was honestly pretty fast, definitely compared to the, uh, the Sweetheart's Castle. Um, and while it's still going, like we're going through like these like roadblocks or like these, uh, these toll stations, right? The actual, like going through the, the casino itself seems to be pretty much completed. And with a nice sweet moment again, where Jossum showed like, I, I thought I looked at you as a son and it was cute. I, I enjoyed that one. But now we've been, uh, uncovering some additional, uh, side stuff as well. Like trying to find all the ghosts. I, st I still have like, I think two left that I need to, to uncover as well as a few other things that you guys have actually, uh, pointed out to me. But first things first, uh, last episode, uh, Archaea said, uh, fun fact, toilet ramen became a thing because for the first demo, we noticed people don't have enough items. We didn't know where to put the items, so we put them in all in the toilet. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. By the way, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Archaea is also the person I've been referring to as Nessie. Her, fo her full name is Archaea Nessia, and I just call her Nessie for short, and she is one of the creators of this game. So that's why. That was what was going on. It was funny. I even looked up, though, toilet ramen, and it turns out there is, like, this weird, like, like people serving ramen in toilets or something. I don't, it seemed like there was something going on with that as well. But apparently the, yeah, so apparently the inside joke to it, the inside uh, scoop on it was that it was just something, a way to give uh, players items because they weren't getting enough items in the demo. <laughs> that's cute. That's actually, that's kind of a neat little story to, to share of like, why is that a thing? Because a lot of things you can just tell a lot of stuff in this game is like inside jokes, right? Like they're just like, this shit seems completely nonsensical. It's gotta be an inside joke to somebody. And to be honest, I did the same exact thing with, with my game when I was making it. I have a bunch of dumb inside jokes that probably only me and Ice Pick would know and get a, and laugh at. And everybody else would just be like, what the fuck is this? Because that's what you do, right? That's how you leave your mark uh, on a game that you're making. So I just want to leave some dumb shit, even if it's like something that nobody's going to understand. But Nessie, thank you so much for, for sharing that little tidbit. And of course, for helping uh, create such a uh, delightful little game. And it is for that reason you are our comment of the day. By the way, another thing you guys uh, informed me of is actually is a, an easy way to identify who is Mori and who is Sunny. Uh, and that's actually their shirts. Uh, Sunny wears a short sleeve shirt and Amori actually wears like a black tank top. Right. Okay. That's true. Actually, in that case, the, the person who played the piano was in fact Sunny. I was paying more attention to the socks or the extra, the, the pants. Because you see Amori has like these kind of striped pants with dark sockies. But okay. So we have a few things that, uh, we still kind of need to do. Um, uh, one of course is I need to find the remaining two ghosts, but... Uh, another thing you guys point out to me is now that, now that I have the ability to swim, another place that I, I haven't been to yet is actually that graveyard, right? Where were the secret passages? There was a, a water section down there that I couldn't do anything with. Also, I was informed of something else that is not very obvious. Actually, a couple of things. Uh, one is that I can, believe it or not, I can now interact with those yellow doors um, that I couldn't before. Uh, the game doesn't really tell you this. It just have to just kind of piece together yourself and also uh apparently the item that is needed to uh, uh give to burly is for some whatever reason is sold by the um let's go to deep well we'll go do that first it's sold by the shopkeeper that is outside uh the casino like what <laughs> Are you kidding me? So let's go, uh, let's go check that out. If that's really the case, that is really fucking random. I don't know. Maybe Mari would give you a tip that, I, oh, it's probably 
somebody who sells things at the, sh at the casino, but, uh, might I interest you in a pool noodle? May like I assume it has the potential to be a very powerful weapon. Even knowing this, I'll basically give it to you for cheap. This price is basically stealing it from me. What do you think? Yes. Kick it. What? It's so random. Wish the game would give me a bit more of an indication of, uh, where I got that from, but okay, fine, whatever. No, Mario, that's right, I actually checked this before. Mario doesn't indicate at all. What the fuck? The game, are you kidding me? Game gives you no indication. Uh, I still also don't know where the fuck Rosa is either. Somehow I feel like I should have already found her by this point. All right, here we go. I guess this is a weapon for, uh, for, for Aubrey then. Yeah, that, that's that right there, the shape, the texture. I, I feel inspired. This pool noodle is exactly what I'm looking for. Tell me to kill women with this. No, I want to keep this useless pool noodle for myself. Oh, boy. Ba -da -da. <laughs> you made a listen object. Oh, God. Face your eyes on this. You got the cool noodle. Oh, fuck. Baha! Yes, behold the cool noodle in all his majesty. Cool noodle's power is not something to be trampled with. Oh, the most hard headed can wield it. Yeah, that's Aubrey. And although it is insanely strong, it is still very beautiful. The craftsmanship is what really makes it stand out. Yup. I've really done myself this time. You can thank me later. Ah! Uh, okay. I guess that quest is done. I didn't get the little jingle, though. What? It's not even that much stronger than what she already has. It also lowers her HP. Well, I mean, the way she has is raised her HP by 10, but... Uh, it's, uh, it's pool noodle, but cooler. Is this actually your ultimate weapon? Although knowing this game, I wouldn't be surprised if everyone has, like, a secret ultimate weapon. Like, how Kel has a chicken ball, everybody else gets, like, their own busted weapon. I wouldn't even put it past it. So is that it? Yeah, that's it. You can give me the little jingle like it usually does. Unless I missed it. All right. Uh, the yellow door, golden door. Is there one in here? Yes, there is. Oh, hey, it's this place. You guys want to get in? Mr. Jawson told me the password once so I could complete one of his errands. Love these guys. They're loads of fun. Well, there you go. I guess you just have to go and examine it now. Again, I kind of wish they had, like, pointed that out at some at some point. What's the password? Hey, Ogie, it's me, Hero. Password is... Hero, my man. Welcome, welcome. Doors and lock. Come right in. Holy shit. Nice pub. Makes us home, kiddos. Any friend here is a friend of mine. Oh my gosh, the guy, it's a guy with a hokey hat. Sapsphere is top notch. I bet Ruben makes some good fruit juice, yeah. Yeah, I see it over there. It's gonna get me fucked up. Club Sam's to level above the rest. Ruben and Hokey are changing the game. Ha, <laughs> Ruben. I get it. Me and Hokey are the owners of this joint. He's the muscle and I'm, and I'm the muscle. Guess our fruit juice to miners who know the rules. But you're always welcome to stay and enjoy the music. Fuck you. Wanna lots of friends? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck up. I'm drinking the fruit juice. Haha! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Hit me again, Marky! This is to you, hero. If I have to be if I have to sit on this uncomfortable cardboard box. Everyone gain five juice? Fuck yeah! Can I do it again? Just gonna, can I just do it infinitely? No. <laughs> I didn't think so, but just check it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, Sprout Mole Mike! Space for, for this! Or, oh, Space for friend this, Space for friend that. What about Mole? Sprout Mole Mike! Oh my god, is he in, is he actually in reality in love with Sweetheart? A jukebox. There are no songs available to play. Scare Mr. Scarebro? Hey, bros! Y'all enjoy yourselves at here at the club sandwich? I know I am. My friends told me that I got, I'm a good judge character. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. You there in the striped shirt. You know what your problem is, bro? You're just way too nice. I can assault you, assault your friends, assault your mom. You still wouldn't lay a finger on me. Is that right, bro? Bro, 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 bro. You know what, bro? You just gonna take that? Nah, you can't just let me slide, bro. Give me a good punch, bro. Do it. Come on, do it, bro. Do it. All right. I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna punch you right in the dick. Punch him. Do it, hero. He's gonna give him a stat boost, right? Ugh. What's that, bro? Would be hold back on me now, would you, bro? Bro, bro, bro. bro wouldn't do something like that. Try again, you can do it, bro. Punch the fuck out of him, do it, hero. Ah! Ah! Ah, my leg! Here again, 20 attack, fuck yeah. He's dead. Bro, 
bro. Yeah, bro. Just like that. Just like that, bro. He broke my leg, bro. I like how Hero didn't say anything throughout the entire exchange. He's fucking dead. Good. All right, well, I think that one might be done. Poor Mr. Outback. I will always remember him. Hey, where's actually put this put uh, his attack power? Holy shit, 64? Kel is up to, well, 49, but he's got like a billion speed. And I'm up to 68. He's actually close to mine now. That really boosted him up, which is good because... Honestly, out of everybody, like, I mean, Hero is the support character, right? But it's like, when it comes to flicking damage, he's just like, he's just kind of there, you know? He does all right, but it, nothing to really brag home about. All right, where's that? I know there's a gold door out here as well. There it is. Oh, good. They just let us in. Uh, oh, you guys are over here too? It is. The same, same two guys, and everybody else is a bit different. That's just not us. Three roommate guy. Okay, that guy's the same. Uh, can I get another boost then? Here? <gasps> I can. Uh, no songs to play? What about this? Listen up a little. Breathe easy. It's time to cool those brain muscles with some, some tunes. Take a load off one. Welcome to Chill Bear. Yeah. Uh, okay. I guess that's it. Let's go say hi to our friend on fire here. <laughs> All right, what we got down here? Now I can finally swim. Get in the water. What the do not touch? <gasps> it is toast. It is the slabs. It will transport me through time where I will meet a Scottish man named Jamie and we shall fall in love. Touch the, I want to poke that big fucking toast. Poke a bonk. Ooh. 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 Oh, fuck me. What have I done? Do not touch the toast. Ah! Welcome to Flowerville. What's all this? This sole all purpose flower. <laughs> uh, my nose is a little itchy. Oh my god! We're all covered in. <laughs> we all like, uh, uh. Looks like we all see some shit. Oh boy, what have I done? Where am I now? Am I gonna run into a happy face that points me in the wrong directions or something? Actual mole. Stop right there, no gutters. Can't y'all read directions? Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. How dare you touch my giant toes? My family, I've been gone the crypt straight for generations. But God ain't easy because of people like you. I may be old and frail now, but my eyesight may not be so good. And I may be the only one left. But I spent a lifetime doing this, and I got real good at garden, I reckon. I can't remember what I'm garden, but it's probably whatever's hidden in that point looking safe in that left corner of the room. Hey, well, I'm gonna ask you all to leave peacefully. Be an extra moment or I can dig my way out of here in three seconds flat. There ain't nothing special about this place. So how about I save you all some trouble and get you out of here? No, fuck you. You wanna stay in your place? Uh, if you insist, feel free to look around all. Some in the circle may be old, but it still works for it. Like a charm. No, no funny business or else. I'm gonna summon Satan. You can't stop me. Oh my God, the bunny. You wanna pick up the forest bunny? Pick up a stray cat. What in the heck? Don't think about opening that thing, I tell you what. There's a, definitely no combination or anything like that around these spots. Okay, and what's this? Perk spot for a sacrifice. Yes, good. Am I guessing the number of each of these things? Pick up loaf. <gasps> Seven. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I gotcha. Seven. Two. Seven, two, zero. Seven, two, zero, one. Seven, two... Zero one nine seven two 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 zero one nine six 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 nine one two seven two zero one nine six nine seven two zero one 
Nine. Six. Nine. Owen. Found a recipe for disaster. Yes. Recipe for disaster. Ingredient. Oh my god, I gotta put the mole in there. Yes, good. Sacrifice him to your, your toast god. Do you want to put back the recipe for disaster? No, I want to... I'm going to murder him. You won't pick up actual mole. There may be no turning back. What in donation? You picked up actual mole. Do you want to sacrifice actual mole? Yes. Sacrifice him to my god. Ah! Yes, good. A portal has been opened. He's fucking dead. And we're just like, look at us. Look at our dead eyes. Our dead lemon's eyes. I don't give a shit. Uh-oh. That ball, Angie. Actually, it's a giant piece of bread, I think. Run! Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that's going to be a sharp turn at some point. I know it. Or that. <gasps> you died? Did I really? I entered the afterlife. The toasty afterlife. It's just me here. Uh-oh. My God, what have I done? Normal sized fruit. So grab this life jam. Oh my God, three things of life jam and three bits of toast. Slap that shit on there. You live, Aubrey. I persisted, didn't I? Amar, you saved me. Thanks for slap slathering that jam on me. Ew, why did I do that? Heck, you thought it was toast for sure. Slather that shit on there. Oh, where am I? Oh my god! Dying hurts! Oh, hey guys, what I miss? Slather that shit, blah. Oh. Uh. Welcome back here. How you feeling? I feel dizzy. I feel edgy. Whoa. Hey, where are we? I don't know, maybe a place where all banned toast goes. Well, we sure are it's sick aren't toast anymore. Let's hurry and find a way out of here. Oh, boy. Well, what have I got myself into this time? Well, at least that mole's dead. <gasps> oh. Today's menu. Uh-oh. Fresh bread. Tomorrow's menu. Fresh bread. Does it say today's menu? You. Oh, yeah, some homemade strawberry jam. Oh, eat it. Oh! <laughs> Mari's picking her basket, but no Mari. We're saving a new slot just in case I fucked up. <laughs> Big Brett. <gasps> oh, there's the ball! Oh, masters do not sleep, so neither do we. Oh, wait. There's another one. There are many mole. Day in and day, day out, it's fresh bread, fresh bread, fresh bread. Yes, good, good. Big jars of honey for the bread. Waffle. Intrunus, big old living toast. I'll send you back to toast hell where you belong, Mo. You smell like father. Father is alive. I haven't seen him since he was actually thrown to, to the summoning vault. Well, well, uh, yeah. I don't know anything about that, though. Masters have received more crystals of late. They must be reaching their limits soon. Ooh, a donut. What is this doing among freaking toast kind? Get out of here, you dirty dank donut. She comes down, mine! <laughs> That's my donut! Am I gonna fight and dethrone toast god? Uh, who the fuck is that? Toast people, toast people. Oh, ho! Biscuit. Doughy, oh, ho! Which is biscuit and which is doughy? Uh, what the hell? We were born to make bread forever, day in and day out. Fresh bread, fresh bread, 
Fresh bread. It's oh, it's, okay. Doughy's the girl. It's a hard life and it's not very rewarding, but this is all we have. We just have to be grateful, right, Biscuit? Oh, that's right, brother. Wait, I'm your brother. Okay, I guess we're both boys. Or I'm a I don't know, whatever. That's right, brother. This has always been our life, trapped in an inner circle of bread. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this is where the wailing was coming from. Whoa, dude. So cool. Ah, the bread. It has spoken. I knew that our bread would make would come back to haunt us eventually. Come, do we must destroy them before they destroy us first. Wait, wait a second, we're not. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. 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 Is this supposed to be a joke of the Pillsbury Doughboy when you put it in the, in the tummy? Woohoo! <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god, they're so glorious. Unbred twins. That sounds wrong. Alright, here we go. Time to slay them all and send them back to the hell that we're currently in. Time to lower those stats. Now the Angie. Let's go. Oh, it's music. It's going in. Yes. Uh-oh. Pull out some pull out some bread from the oven. Oh my god, it's bread bunny! Oh god, it's a bread bunny. Those things fucked me up. I mean I'm a lot stronger than I was before, but still. Okay, that means these guys are not gonna be a, any not gonna be slouches. A bun bunny. But fuck that. I'm gonna keep I'm just gonna steer into your soul. Okay, make him happy. Flex it out, and then smack him. Oh, yeah! I'm staring at you. Tuck together, ow, ow! Bun bunny hides his bun. Okay, heal. There we go. All right. Uh, he's going to the bucket. All right. Uh, let's do this one. Holy shit! This is the percussion is going crazy. Eat this, motherfuckers! You all about to demon die today? Uh, fresh bread. Fresh bread. Every day it's it's great at George Unes. I mean it's fresh bread. Oh They became sad. Can no longer become happy or angry. Oh! Is this our sad enemy? Is this the sad enemy we've been looking for? Are they not an obligatory boss? <laughs> Damn they are still uh, kicking too. More bread from the oven. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Sour bro sour dough. We're, we're doomed to bake bread for all eternity, aren't we, Biscuit? Oh. We're running out of supplies. What do we do, Biscuit? Oh. Uh, undead twins became de or unbred twins became depressed. Oh, it totally is. These are the guys. Wow, they have a fuck ton of health. They just shook that shit right off. Uh, unfortunately, that also means it's actually going to do extra damage now to, uh, to, uh, to Kel. Better buff up, uh, Aubrey here. I've done this move in a while. Oh, God, don't, don't kill her. Uh, but Got 255 juice lost. Ah, oh, fuck, that was what I was afraid of. Heal. Here, have some homemade jam there, Kel. Ah! Oh, damage! So much damage! Alright, guys, we're gonna eat a whole pizza. Get ready. Ah! Look at Amori. Look! Ah! Notice me, sir! Ah! Ah! They forget something in the oven. Good. Ah, 
Miserable bleh. That's right, you're gonna die here today. I'll show you what awesome power is. Alright, I'm gonna piss her off even more. Hey, hey, Aubrey, look, Aubrey! Wait, did I only I only did damage to their juice there. What the hell? I'm not hurting them! I am fucking up their juice though. How much juice do they have, I wonder? What the fuck? Uh-oh. I need to do the power hit. Maybe. That won't, because that doesn't matter. That doesn't change their defense at all, right? Or maybe they'll just run out of juice and eventually I can hurt them. Fuck, that didn't work either. What the hell do I do? Ow, I persisted. Oh my God, they did a lot of damage. May I have to like completely exhaust how much how much juice they have? If so, it's gonna take a while. That I have to kill the bread. Actually, maybe that is it. Maybe they have to defeat the be the bread around them so that they like completely like are like oh we can't bring anything else out and then I can kill them. I'm thinking that might be it. All right, kill that bread. Kill this thing. Fuck you, bread. Okay, can I hurt you now? Oh, there we go. I damaged them that time. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, did I, I actually had to deplete their juice all the way. Ah, fucking die, you assholes. Get him, Aubrey. Ah, resources have been depleted. Have been depleted. What will we do without gradients? Uh -huh. That's right, die, you two. Fuck. Give me that experience. I think I might have reached, I got all the abilities I can get. That yeah, I can get from leveling up, that is. <sighs> we are all out of juice. It seems that this is the end for us, Biscuit. Oh. Uh... Wait, we're not bread. We're kids just like you, you stupid fucks. You, you mean you're not here to destroy us? Of course not! We would never attack unprovoked, bitch! You, you're the one that headbutt me in the face though, I'm bleeding! You hear that, Biscuit? We're saved! Now it's back to baking. Fresh bread, fresh bread, fresh bread. Oh. Hey, so how long have you guys been baking bread here? Do you want to go outside and get some fresh air? Uh-huh, if only that were possible. We've been trapped here since the inception of the universe. Well, that sounds like a pretty long time. I think you both deserve a break. What? That's preposterous. What meaning do our do our lives have if we do not spend it baking bread? Oh? Uh? If we were to leave our bread making stations, what would we do with ourselves? This is the only life we know. And yet, my morbid curiosity overwhelms me. That portal up there is able to transport us out of this place. We used it countless times to fill our bread summonings, but we've never seen the outside for ourselves. Well, we have. And let me tell you, it's a big, awesome, weird, bizarre world out there. Full of MS paint monsters, casinos, and burly. I think it's about time you guys start exploring new possibilities. Mm, tempting. Well, what do you think, Biscuit? Uh huh. Mmm, I'm listening. Mm-hmm, yes, but, ah, that is true. All right, we've changed our minds. We want to leave. This place sucks. It's not bagels. Bagels suck. Ooh. Biscuit, we've always been afraid to use the portal, but perhaps it's time for change. So is, is this actually, like, supposed to be, like, where toast goes when it dies or something? This is, like, this is basically bread hell, and that's why we turn to toast. So that's a deep, dank lore is trying to show us here. Come on, brother. Let's experience our first taste of freedom. Uh -huh. You are free. 
<laughs> Holy kitchen. Holy cow. So I said we should come soon. That's a big baguette. Let me out. Let me out. <gasps> We're free. We spawned out of our graves. Hey, so did that item. Yeah, it kind of explains why it's in a graveyard, right? A toast graveyard. Bread phones. Fuck yeah. Uh, two rolls of bread. Heart plus 10, defense plus 5. Life jam will heal, heal more hearts when used in battle. Cool. All right. I wonder if that counts for probably just the item, right? And would that, would that count for if you use it on other people? Or does it mean it'll only on the, when life jam is only used on them? <gasps> hey, I got bread. Oh, I can actually pick that up. I didn't realize. So this is just, uh, oh, just takes me back here. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, my actual ghost. It's here. Don't think I forgot what you did. Anyway, just because I'm a ghost now, I mean, I can't dig it my way out of here. Do you want to go to the service? Okay, but no funny business, you motherfuckers. You killed me. You left me the demon down today. The perfect spot for another sacrifice. Okay, I can't seem to go back there now. You are. <laughs> oh my god, seriously, we, we straight murdered that mole. I want that on the record. Mole dead. Just like this flaming man. Oh! Actually, I'm kind of curious to see what some of this... So, like, some of these uh, other characters... What do they say in my... Uh, full facts! So, King Carnivore. One of the Sprout Mole's many predators. King Carnivore invades Sprout Mole habitats by burrowing underground. They prefer their Sprout Moles warm and chewy. Gross! So, is he related to this guy? King Crawler? A mindless parasite that kills Sprout Moles and harvests their empty house in order to extend its own body. So Maximus, the th second, the third, unbred twins, Biscuit and Dewey, the unbred twins from another realm who are forced to bake and transport bread eternally via summoning circle. Oh, uh -huh. Mr. Jossum, venture capitalist and entrepreneur slash loan shark who owns 51% of the deep well. There's something he believes in more than a signed contract. Hey, it's the boss. I love that guy. I know he loves me too. Pluto expanded, an astonishing, glorious, expanded version of Pluto, the strongest planet in all the cosmos in the universe, as we all knew he was. Uh, okay, and then that's the bottom there. Yeah, Space Boy friend and the pirates went off somewhere with great urgency, but me and my dude here have decided to look for Captain Space Boy's lost planet Pluto. Dude, he's been gone forever, I right? fought him like 18 times. You're never gonna find him. Right, where could he be? Pluto, come out, come out, wherever you are, dude. Just go to his station, you idiot. I'll get him. You not see me summoning him, summoning him over there to carry me places? I wonder when, when the mirrors will come into play. Uh, I wonder where Doey and them went. Oh, uh, this is what this guy was talking about. Let's speak of a pair of twins who guarded the orange oasis under their watchful eyes so they power to raise the dead. Ah, uh, that is who he speaketh of. The question is, where the fuck did they go? They're not immediately uh, viewable out here. Oh, hey, I can go over here now too. Ah, uh, you can't get me, bitch. A golden hero sandwich. What the hell? Oh, hey, another one of these doors. There's a rare bear in here. No one on stage today. Uh. Hello? Uh, uh, the rarest bear. Oh, hey! <gasps> Sir Max was the fourth! Oh my god, the legacy continues! In a cruise with the fate, I lost my entire family today. I know, we, we're the ones who killed him. Curses, if only I was stronger. Ah, Reuben, I'll take one more drink for my sorrows. Coming right up, Max. Ah, uh, Reuben, kill me. Just kill me now. All right, let's all slurp up some more fucking yummy juice. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, okay. Anything else in here? Okay, I think there's a ghost here somewhere as well. And I gotta go read my, uh, my joke to, uh, the Weepy Willow person. I guess I think it's in here. All right, Weepy Willow, don't forget to bring out Hero. And one more new joke for you. Hey, what's up? It's your girl. You know what to do. Leave a name and number at the beep. Beep. All right. What joke have I yet to tell? Uh, ocean joke. What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? A nervous wreck. <laughs> a joke. A joke was so bad. It makes you want to... <laughs> Still nothing, huh? That was definitely the new one. It didn't seem extremely one or the one way or the other either. 
I don't know. It's hard to tell if I'm making any progress with that one. I mean, it's just, it's just one right joke and everything else gives you like that reaction. Hey, there's the glasses ghost. Here I am, Lost Clam. Ha ah, ha. One time I invited a party, I don't know where it is. Get a spooky map to glasses ghost. I don't believe it. Is this is a map to the top ass party. Relax there. You know that? I better hurry. Sounds like it's going to be a blast. Okay, one more. Uh, I think the only place I haven't looked is, I think, uh, Sweetheart's Castle. It's the only other location I could think of. Oh, okay, yeah, actually, speaking of which, I need to go talk to the artist at the Sweetheart's Castle, too. Oh, hey, they uh, board up the floor over here. All right, how's my art friend doing? Lekas, you have returned. Please admire my latest masterpiece. It's already framed in the gallery ahead. <gasps> Oh, wow, it's just amazing. Oh my God, it looks just like us. Untitled by the great artist Rococo. Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? Give me a break. Oh, is he gonna slowly get better or something? Well, are you happy with my masterpiece? Oh, just so you know, as my skills become more formidable, my commission rates will also increase. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? It costs $5,000. Better not with that fucking money. Good thing I have nothing else to spend money on. So I just step out here and step back. Nope, I, I guess I may have to I have to leave the Sprout Mode Village all the way or something. Let me check over here though. Make sure there's not like a not a ghosty somewhere here. I guess there's still dudes here who wanna kill me though. Oh hey! Yes! There is, right here. Oh dear, it seems I've got myself lost again. How clumsy of me. Alright, here we go. Final one. Oh, what is this? this a Baptist or Top Hats party? Why, it, indeed it is. I must hurry to the party now. Being late is unbefitting a princess. All ghosts acquired. All right. But while I'm over here, I just want to see what this fucker says, all right? I want to see if this guy fucking warns you or not. I'm not going to do it, but I want to see if this guy actually gives you a fair warning. Soon she will leave and I return, I know this. And when I have deemed that she has found her home elsewhere, I will look for a new owner. Oh. It still hasn't, what? Oh, she still hasn't quote unquote officially le or left yet. She, has a, she needs to actually find a new home somewhere. And for as we've seen, she's already left uh, space uh, ex-boyfriend or ex-husband now, right? So that means, yeah, that's it. So we still gotta wait till she settles down somewhere, wherever the fuck that is before I can actually do anything. Okay, well, well, clearly it's something that's meant for endgame, so uh, that's good. But you can't access, you can't suddenly access it like really early, and fuck yourself. Oh, there's Rosa. What's the past by her? Rosa, the jig is up. Today is the day you die, bitch. Why are you here? I'm angry. Go away. Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart, ran away with that blasted captain space boy again. Uh, sweetheart was only a few doors away. But now she's flown galaxies away. How will I follow her now? Do I look like I can fly to you? I don't give a shit, all right? I'm just here to kill you. I, I don't know if that was really our fault. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing. Now give it back. Or face my eternal wrath. This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it's very square, so... It's finders keepers. Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey. Rosa, hey, why don't you not try to work on something at- I don't want to hear it! <laughs> Still, I'm giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection. Is it that flamingo? Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Hey, fuck you. Uh, wait, did I have something to give to her or something? Did I not? Yeah, I have the bed. Don't I want to give the bed to her or something? I have it, don't I? Wait, do I? No way, I gave the bed to the shady mole. Uh, do I just like need to leave or something for, cause I didn't talk to her first. I think I might be it actually. I had to leave the area to like refresh her. Get out of my house. Or not. Uh, heh, Rose being difficult, yeah. Figure shows me like that. Here, take this shelter. There's no way I should refuse you after seeing this. Got blackmail, yeah. Now leave me in my bed. New bed alone, our best done here. Oh shit, what's this fucking blackmail? 
Contains details of Rose's dark demon past. Damn it, I wish I could look at it. Oh, I didn't even look at the best. That's right. I was like, there's something I wanted to do. Oh, right. It was the bad drawing. Who or what is this supposed to be? <laughs> That's Basil. I mean, it's... It's not that far off. He's got his flower uh, wreath on his head. So he got like angel wings or something. Or I guess it's just like, what are we... What's the hair? Well, like, what's the thing in the bag? It's like, yeah. I see he's got angel wings. And the hair's a little all over the place. But it's not completely off. It wasn't like we like forgot who he, what he looks like entirely. I, I think. I think we just suck at art. Back in. Hm, you amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. <gasps> I am so sick and tired of hearing that stupid laugh of yours. Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Boy, yo, it's true. The Rose is a real pain, but I have some serious issues with using blackmail some to shut the fuck up, hero. Hey, Rosa! I'm sorry. I have, I have absolutely zero issue with it. Check this out. Okay, I pulled out the blackmail. Where'd you get that? It doesn't matter. You know what I want. Give it to me. I've changed my mind. But please, guys, I'll give you anything you want. Just politely hand over the blackmail at once. Uh, yes, you want a Pessy's thing, right? Yes, Pessy's thing. Fine, whatever. Take it. It's yours. So give me that blackmail. <gasps> Hurry up and do it! No, not a Pessy's thing and the blackmail. Double win, bitch. You should have trusted me. You trade blackmail for Pessy's thing. Mine. Ah, ha, ha. Bird. I need you get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? Now scram, I say. Scram! <laughs> Go away, I'm mad at you! I'm always mad at you, Rosa. Okay, it turns out I actually could have completed this earlier, it, it seems. I just, I must have missed Rosa down there. The sprawling Sprout Mill Village. All right, here we go. Oh, he found him a brush thing! Give Pessy's thing to Pessy. Thank you, I say, thank you. I say again, return for yourself this deed and bestow upon you the ultimate gift. Yeah, sweetheart's bust. Oh, great. Thank you. I so beautiful. May I fill you, you with joy for the rest of your days. Uh, is that a weapon or an accessory? Weapon. A bust of sweetheart. It's really heavy. Like, really, really heavy. Holy shit. It is really heavy. Oh, my God. Look at, look at the fucking portrait over there. Look at what a beautiful Adonis sweetheart is. Jesus. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's a five more attack, which is not a lot, but eh, but the speed drops down to eight, so she'll definitely be the last person in the party, and the hit drops down to only 75%. Not worth it. Oh, by the way, you guys also point out that, that uh, so yeah, that, that one quest with the farmer dude is actually, is actually done, but I can basically continually do it. Like, it's not on my list here, um, but I can continually do it to either grind for EXP or get more money if I happen to need fucking more money at this point. Um, all right, this leaves ghost party. But first, let's do the art thing. So we're gonna head all the way back out and then back in. Lagasse, you have returned. Please admire my latest piece. Uh. What the fuck? Already significantly better. People with fruit. No, it does look a bit unfinished. Excelsior sketch lines. And where are my eyes? By the great artist Rococo. Behold my improvement. However, it is a play and I am still a student. I must shake off this novice energy for my next piece. Are you happy with my masterpiece? All right. So you know, it's my skills. Okay, yes. Blah blah blah. Fuck. God damn. I was hope I was hoping it wouldn't be like double every time, but fine. Le magnifique. God damn it. I swear the next was twenty thousand, which if it is, I'm not gonna have enough money for it. All right. Le gas. All right. Uh. What the hell? Wow. It's going to go a bit more uh, surreal here with the Picasso version. La Fiesta de Cuatro by the great artist Rococo. As all great artists say, realism is boring. This is my most expressive piece yet. Can you feel my expression? Feel something. Uh, abstract has never been my thing. Uh, okay, 15,000. Sure. All right, what we got? Ah, anime! This looks a lot better. Amori's Unusual Escapades. By the Great Arts for Coco. But are you surprised? What do you say, huh? I cannot exchange styles. I bet these were drawn by like actual fans or something. I bet my masterpiece. All right. 25,000 
fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I definitely don't have that money. Ah, bummer. Well, I guess I have a reason. I have something to spend money on at least, right? I'll come back later when I've got the cash. Oh, this is new. Oh, hey, it's you again. You want to give us the blackmail for Rosa? What do you want now, shady mole? Up no good, I presume? Uh, you misunderstand me, child. If anything, I'm more of a good Samaritan char type character. I don't know about that. Here, I can prove it to you. Will Shady Mole tell you incredibly helpful vital information that can change your life? I think not. Hmm, I don't know. I think we should kill him. I your answer to everything, Kel. I know, but it always works. Okay, we're listening. Glad I got your attention now. Word around here is the clams will soon be obsolete and replaced by a new and better currency called... Uh-oh. Clams! Crypto clams. According to my trustworthy sources, this change can potentially happen anytime. We'll render all your clams completely worthless. You will not want that happen, would you? Well, I... Yeah, we really suck, right? But here's the kicker. Because I heard about this, I'm secretly stocking up on the new valuable currency called clams. Being the good smarter that I am, I'm glad I trade them all to you in exchange for clams. Wow, really? You do that for us? Count and listen him! This is beyond shady. This is shady mole criminal. But Aubrey, didn't you hear? They're about to replace all clams with clams. God, you're so out of the loop. What are we gonna do when we have no money? What do you think, Amari? Should we exchange all our clams for clams? No. Why would you want to keep your adopted clams? Clams are the way of the future. You must reconsider. Is there a point to this? I I, I don't know. My gut instinct is just to say no. <laughs> All right. Everybody's here. It's all a feast is saved. Saved. Now, let the festivities begin. Can the ghosts even eat? Oh my god, here we go. La 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 la. La 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 la. Why are we doing this? We didn't even practice. Wow. God, we're so talented. Look at this. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Got the glasses on, the hats, and the beard. Ah, uh, beard. Get my nose. I'm... <laughs> la 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 la. Now I've got a top hat and an end of crown and do little muddy pan and lumbe. Mm -bop -bop, mm -bop -bop, mm -bop -bop. Oh, jolly good, yes. That was delightful. That was a reward. Oh my god, it fucking was. You, my, my good man, man you have your eternal ground too. Do it to us, get from me. Oh, wait, no, okay, here we go. I got a top hat. Please take some time and enjoy the good company. Sweet, give me that top hat. Give me dapper as fuck. Holy shit. Hope it's not haunted. Defense plus 13, luck plus 13, heart plus 13. <laughs> Lucky number 13. Damn, it's actually it's actually not too bad. Um oh, I still want to keep Hector Jr. on him. Uh oh, I can definitely this is a fucking uh, Aubrey. This is just better in every way. <laughs> luck is already pretty low. Which of my celebrations all thanks to you that this was possible. Please set this offering for me. <gasps> Oh, I, was, I thought I was gonna get like a accessory based off each of the characters here. Go party! Ah, oh, yes. Wow, it's like it's my birthday now. Oh, fruit juice with a question mark. Thanks. Go, G Willikers! I can't believe I'm here. I bet it looks super cool uh, with all you talking to me. Yeah, uh, yeah, here. I'll pay with a big rubber band. Thank you, children. Now I have at this party, especially to enjoy my afterlife. Let's take this in return. Life jam. I may. Can I use this to bring you back from the demon dead? Nah, Sprays, you're making a with me. Thanks for leaving me here. <laughs> Dead batteries, thanks. This one is six. Make much for this all I got. Waffle. All right, real quick. I'm just gonna save and try switching over my cl to Clems just to see what the fuck happens. Oh, hey, I can do a picnic out of here. Samari, so, what do you do when you're waiting for us? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. I say hello and try to make, some, to make some small talk with the folks who pass by. And to make sandwiches. That sounds exhausting. I can't small talk at all. Mari, tell us, who's the most interesting person you come across? Well, let's see. Around this area, I typically see cranky tourists and gator guys. And they want to fight me, so I just beat them up. Gator guys are a little rough around the edges. But they once they open up, they share just about everything, everything with you. They're even nicer than most of the tourists. Yes, I agree. All the gear guys I've met have been really nice to me. Not to me. 
They are. What the fuck? They always treat me like I'm a trouble or something. I have to kill them. For them to back off. Let's see what else. Oh, come to think of it. I do remember a crackly unlucky fellow named Snaily. Oh, my God. Oh, he's dead, dude. You see him wandering around a lot. Ugh. Too soon, Mari. Too soon. The one he tried, he tried to walk up to and greet me. He suddenly fell into a hole. I never saw him again after that. Boring next. He's dead. We're already done with him. Come on. Keep up, Mari. Keep up. All right. Let's go ahead and trade all of our clams for clams. <laughs> Excellent. You won't regret this. Thank you for all of your clams. Now, here's some clams in exchange. Got clams. Currency of the future. <laughs> Mari, why'd you girls kill? Precious isn't even real money. Please enjoy your clams. Now I must go eat your house. We're in need of clams. Doodles. The currency of the future. I got an achievement at least. Is there anything you can do with it? Currency of the future. I've got one. Just one. And I lost all my money. That was worth it. Okay, I was I was curious if there's any point to this. It seems like there really isn't, but you can actually get your money back. Apparently, it's over in the construction area. Which I'll say, I actually didn't really look around this area too much. Uh oh yeah, that's right. So there's something over on this side too. This muscle's guarding something. Oh hey, level 35, Lord Final Strike! Hey, I actually did learn something new. Just me though. Th this actually makes it sound like this is my last move. Uh Final Strike. Strike all foes. Deals more damage if Amori has a higher stage of emotion. Oh, interesting. Final strike. It hits everybody. So the more like sad, happy, or angry he is, the more damage he'll deal. Wonder how strong it is. It hits everybody, so hey, I'll give it a try. <laughs> it costs 50. A shucker. I have no idea what that is. Good for opening muscles. Okay, it gives him three more attack, but the other one gives him 30 HP, so not worth it in my opinion. Oh, hey. Here he is. Oh, I see. This was his place. <laughs> oh, hey, I get to fight him too. Oh, shit, the music's getting real. Time to murder Shady Mole. Put an end to you once and for all. Motherfucker, I've been waiting forever for this moment. Ain't that blah! Uh. Ow. All right, he's almost dead. Be gone from this world, Shady Malt. So we get. Give me my money back. <laughs> he's just dead. You found your stolen clams. Yes. Haha! -ha. All right, good. Glad the game didn't totally screw me like that. Just for a dumb achievement or a joke. Boy, oh, what a joke about construction. I'm still working on. I missed this one. Excellent. Okay. Maybe the Weepy Willow would like that one. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Oh, I I didn't come across this before. Musical clams are trying to Please show them your support. Oh, God. That will need some work. Oh, God. This is like someone's ringtone. So I can hear the Chrono Trigger theme in here somewhere. Just a goofy room. I think about it, I probably should have waited till I paid all the tolls for it when it dropped money like that. Although, actually, have I? I haven't, I haven't gone all the way to the left here. It's Voyager Spikes. Uh... Oh, it's the end of the highway! Oh, actually, I think I did pay all the tolls. Good. Oh, we got another picnic. The 
Oops, hey, tomorrow I reached the end of the road, literally. It's like there's a long bridge up ahead. Review, you don't look down. Marge, you really pay those toll gators? You shouldn't support the criminal schemes. But it's easier to run over here now. Let's run along clamps. Here, take on some of my savings. <gasps> I'm help out a little bit. Oh, Mar Mari, no, I feel bad now. This is also, it's not dick, so, ah. Uh, God damn it, Mari. All right, let's have a dumb picnic. Can't believe we really made it all the way to the end of the highway. But you did, y'all should be proud. Bridge the top of the cliff leads to a place called Deeper Well. Whereas the Deeper Well has been around for a long time, but the bridge wasn't, wasn't there too recently. Who knows what's on the other side? Do you think that's where Basil is? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know for sure. There's only one way to find out. Only one way. So what's over here? Oh, the way that I could have gone, but I didn't. Cheeburger in paradise. Knew there was a chest there. And there. All right, that was the extent of that spot. So gonna go over here. Oh God, it's the end of the highway. Don't go away that way unless you want to fucking die. Got them a darkness over there. Ah, that's right. Here's the that other door. I knew there was at least one more. Don't tell anyone I said this, but it's just tough being a space pirate. Give me that sweet juice, baby. Yum, yum. Hey, it's the little, uh, little durable hamster thing. Well, hello there, hero. Hi, Ams. Are you doing well? I'm doing okay. Hoggy sent me to the couch for a timeout. Oh, you're a timeout? What'd you do? Nothing. I just tried to eat the tables over there. What? Try eating the tables? You can do that? Oh, I see. Tables are made out of bread. <laughs> what? I will not eat the tables. I will not eat the tables. I will eat the tables. <laughs> I guess Sam's only really show up for that one moment, huh? Uh, okay, I guess it's like everything in here. Oh, yeah, telescope. Miss this. Behold the beautiful ocean sky. I see nothing. Keep saying some point. I'm just gonna see Brow shows his face is gonna pop up in there and he's gonna go, ah! Huh. I was starting to see some light sea life, but I wasn't expecting this. Diving man is now dying, man. All right, what the fuck we got going on over here? Got some more lore? Oh, hey, I can actually interact with these things. Volume? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, that's where I was falling before. By the way, I, I, I realized something that that hole I was falling in uh, with this background, remember when I landed into like the weird creature's mouth? I think I just realized, I think that creature's mouth was actually the uh, the weird phantom looking Mari that I saw with the crooked head. A clear bridge stretches across the trench. Do you want to cross it? Yes. Sure, we'll not come to regret this. Blah, 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 blah. Is that a... Is that a fishbowl? What in the world? Is that an eye? Wow, just look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have really liked it here. If he wasn't fucking dead. Basil, he would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, sure he would have. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil? Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. Even when he's upset, he'll always manage to smile. But the rest start to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. He kind of sucked. <laughs> but this not change anything, right? If our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil's our friend. More importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we'll all, uh, uh, we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. I'm sure we'll, we'll find him as long as we have more to keep us on track. I haven't said anything since this whole adventure started. 
All Tom Basil's been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. Then when we're all together again, we should all give him a big old hug. Ha! Oh, it's nice to see you two getting along so well, well for a change. I can hug the both of you right now. God, group hug! Baka! Huh? Me kill? Get along? Fuck you! Now, fuck you! What are you talking about, hero? Stop being weird! I will cut that bitch. Ah! Ah! I relaxed you. I'm just playing around. I know you hate each other. Good. Don't you forget it either. Oh, Basil, we're almost there. We'll all be together soon, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna ride the waterfall. Uh. Oh boy. Blah, 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 blah. Some weird deep sea shit here. Uh oh. Get some random teleports. Yes, we do. I can't run for some reason either. God damn it. Come on. Why are you not making make it so I can't run? Okay, we got two ways to go. What the hell is that? Your memories are not free blank. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded, and yet all memories will eventually fade. Talking about not remembering Basil? Perhaps you've already noticed the curse served deeper well. What? Is this place that's causing it? Damn you, deeper well. Okay, seriously, why the fuck can I not run? I hate the moments where it just doesn't let me run for reasons. This place is pretty expansive, too. Like, there's really no reason why I shouldn't be letting me do it. Empty. With time, what is important will change. You must choose what you will keep and what you will cast away. Not everyone has that choice. Where the fuck am I going? Uh. No, humans are bound, bounded creatures. Your limits are what define you, what makes you human. Oh, hey, a face. Almost didn't see it. Boom. What we got? Oh, now I can run. And then I can't run. Okay, going this way now. Uh. Minus. It is selfish to dream for so long when there are those who are expecting you. Okay. Decay. Time will always move forward. Eventually the truth will become clear. You know this well, don't you, dreamer? Sure. Is that also over here? Just some weirdos to talk to? A rain cloud. Oh, wait, there's a dude right there. What if it's up to you? What if it's only up to you? Carry on, Dreamer. You're the only one who can. <laughs> Welcome to Depression Zone. The universe is full of questions that you will never answer, yet they are also ones that you can o only you can answer. When the truth is revealed, what will you do? What will you do? I don't know. Must talk to all weird, enigmatic fish creatures. Okay. Uh. I see you, chest. When trouble shows itself, there's always the choice to run. But one day you may very well find yourself running alone. Use some deep thoughts, sea creatures. Deep, just like this place. Deeper, deeper. The sun shine brighter when she was here. Who's she? Oh God. Small diagonal spaces. Got a zigzag. Do, 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 do. Curse you, RPG Maker limitations. Okay, which way am I going here? Uh-oh. Basil, I saw you. On that fucking swing. Branch Coral. A long time has passed since you have ventured this far. Deeper layers of his world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Is the And I assume the dreamer is myself? Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. 
My lost friend, the big yellow cat, white space. My lost friend. You would like to know more about your lost friend. Can I only pick one thing? Friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. A string of fates ties you two together. He cannot leave that place alone. Is he in the black space then? To retrieve him, you will have to remove yourself as well. But no way that is natural for this world. For headspace. Journey's near its end. You already know what you have to do, dreamer. Is there anything else you would like to know? Yes! Okay, good. I can actually ask other ones. Oh, interesting. We're actually getting some dank lore here. The big yellow cat? I don't even know what I'm, what I'm referring to. Before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. He just removed his conscience, and he is revolved into a parasite within himself. He lives here just beyond this cavern. Uh oh The wisest against her reason committed an act that imposed the dreamer's will. It is an act that is not even known to me. As a result, she, stripped of her, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison somewhere deep, deep down. The last and favorite, the big yellow cat, was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day. Is that the cat that's in there? But he's not yellow. But then again, everything's monochrome in there, so maybe he was originally. Watching diligently, waiting for some, waiting for something to happen. It probably is. So maybe he was so originally he was a yellow cat. Ah, uh, the dreamer's favorite. So, and it's seemingly, it's gotta be me, right? It's clearly me. It, or unless it's somehow like in a twist face gonna be Basil, but again, I don't know how that would work. White space. You would like to know more about white space. To be in white space is to be nothing. White space is emptiness, a home without warmth. A place to survive, but not to live. Even still, your conscience cannot be erased. It will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form. And if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb. The repression of I an idea. Yes. Perhaps it's time to admit that you are human, dreamer. Yeah, he's talking to me. Um, is there anything else? No, that's it. Well, that was bizarre. Well, I actually examined the tree part, too, because I was like, examine the swing, I didn't get anything. Funky. He was all like, uh, Daddy Long Legs, with his incredibly vague answers, as well as Mr. Outback. What the fuck is that? So is that creature we're looking for? Or that he mentioned? The oldest one? It's in here somewhere. Uh. What in the hell? It's like a crow's head. Mute. An unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, dreamer? What will you do? What will you do? Uh, I don't know. Can I talk to the coral? How far will you go to save a friend? What was his name? Void? Boo, 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 boo. I'm gonna go inside this giant fish skull. Oh boy. I feel like we're not getting to uh, some freaky shit here. What the hell is fucking freewheeling? Uh. Freewheeling? Or Shamu? What you doing out here, man? Well, hello there, friends. The name is Humphrey. What brings you here to my humble little cave? Oh, so you're the oldest one? Humphrey? Oh, Humphrey, we're just looking for someone. So he wasn't the same as he used to be, though. Sorry, 
for bothering you. Oh, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you're the second group to visit me today. First was just a girl, a very loud girl with a big red bow. I ate her. Doesn't that sound like someone we... So, doesn't that sound like someone we know? Oh, uh, sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm, where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. That's the, that's the joke it is. She is inside me, you see. Uh-oh. <laughs> he did actually eat her. Well, good for you. Good for you, Mr. Humphrey. She deserved it. She's inside you? Well, yes, she's visiting my guests, for I am also home to a family of wi sea witches. We spend our time together chatting and chuckling. It is so fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they are even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. Get in there. Well, my apologies. First guest seems to be causing some indigestion. Ah, get inside me. For ah, blah. And we're just gonna do it, cause sure, why not? Ha, huh, suckers. <laughs> Humphrey! Ew. Those things have faces on them. Well, Humphrey's belly is huge. It stinks. It sure looks easy to get lost in here. Beth, yeah, I make it. Echo! 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 Ah! Where'd you come from? Welcome, my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I'm always here. I'm inside me and all around you. All around me are familiar. Ah! I'm everywhere. Or I am just here. Wow, it's so cool, Humphrey. I wish I could turn into a pimple that went inside me too. Gross. I wish I could do I wish I I wish I could do that. See, I tell you, this Cal and I are in the same exact wavelength. It's kinda of gross if you ask me. Wow, so rude. Hey, mm, there are many ways to go. Where should we even start? Left, right, up, around. Doesn't matter. It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one. It's easy. Yeah. So what's this thing? Just a... Oh, a spy where you can park your boat. Hi, I'm Pumphrey. You're all access pass to Humphrey, aka Slime Girl's Lair. Strictly speaking, I guess I'm what you call humans in elevator. Or some can only take one appointment at a time, so you have to wait your turn. Oh, if you can find me a slimy key card, I might be able to pull some strings for you. Uh Okay. It's like waypoints or some shit. Whee! I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat, I'm on a motherfucking boat. Okay, it's getting weird. Waste. Oh, damn! Nice, uh, futuristic factory you got going on inside your belly here, Humphrey. What the, Molly? Oh, hello, Marina. Are you here to steal my things again? Well, not this time. I prepared some extra special things, extra special for you today. As you know, I'm a very busy person. Well, last you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room if you are able to solve my little gift. Hope you get, hope to see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is. What in the hell? <laughs> it's a pop. We will not pop up me boop. Oh, well, there's Mari. Ah, some questionable gelatin. Mmm, delicious. Oh, no, Mari. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, well, since this is a weird place to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell you something there, brother. It may be recommended to set up picnics in normal places like a forest or campsites, but where's the fun in that, silly billies? What if I want to stay the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Spend your mind, Amori. I need to set an example for my sometimes born little brother. Whatever. Whatever, Mari. I'm just so done with you. you guys, we can't relax right now. We have a puzzle to solve. Are you guys just afraid the bomb is going to explode? 
not really. Just relax, Aubrey. We got this. I'll get around to it eventually. Wrist Roost full of smartest people I know. Like me and me. That doesn't make me feel better at all. Leia screams that she said for sister, right? She wouldn't really let it explode, explode our sister. I don't know, Cal. Aubrey's right. We're in unfamiliar territory. Probably better to play it safe. What do you think we should do, Mari? Huh? Oh, uh, I think you should do what your heart tells you. Follow the power of love and believe in the heart of the cards and shit. Thanks. Mari, I can always count on you. You're welcome. Ah. God dang it, Mari. God damn doodly. Let's look at the mirror. It's my friends. And we're smiling. And nothing's happening. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not right, Gumpiggy Penguin. I'm more the SLP. Where the days are always sunny. And the vids are always funny. And as always, guys. Till next time. Stay classy.